In this video, you will learn how to integrate your QuickBooks with iPospace. If this feature is not enabled for your TPN, please contact your agent and ask them to enable it for you. First, log into the iPospace portal. After logging in, select the Settings tab and click Integrate with QuickBooks. Select Enable and click the Connect to QuickBooks button. After logging into your QuickBooks, the page will load back to iPospace with a pop-up saying, QuickBooks connected successfully. If you have already logged in your QuickBooks account on your browser, then you don't even need to log in. It will be connected automatically. Your QuickBooks is now integrated with iPospace. Now, click the drop-down and select the service and ledger against which you want to update the transactions. As you can see, the details are fetched from QuickBooks. You can also choose whether to post the total amount, which is tips and tax included, or just the base amount. Please note that all transactions done through the payment terminal will be automatically updated against the selected service and ledger. It's important to understand that you cannot change these settings for each individual transaction. The default service and ledger you select will be applied to all TPNs and transactions conducted using the payment device. For the merchant. First, let's see how it works on transactions done the payment device. Once you complete the transaction through your payment device, the transaction will be updated against the selected service and ledger in your QuickBooks. Now let's see how it works on transactions done through virtual terminal. Under Cloud POS, select Payments. Select your Cloud POS TPN from the drop-down and enter the transaction amount and the customer's card details. In the QuickBooks Details section, you'll find the service and ledger pre-filled based on your initial integration setup. However, for Cloud POS transactions, you have the flexibility to change the service and ledger by simply clicking on the drop-down menu. It's important to note that the service and ledger you select will only apply to the specific transactions you're working with. Additionally, you have the option to enter the customer name and invoice number. This allows the transaction to be updated specifically against the entered customer and invoice in your QuickBooks. You can enter all four fields or any one of the fields, and the transaction will be updated accordingly. For example, if you only enter the customer, the transaction will be entered against the respective customer alone. Once you finish entering the details, complete the transaction. Once the transaction is complete, refresh your QuickBooks page. The transaction will be updated against the selected service and ledger in your QuickBooks. Thanks for watching.